Well, hello. Uh, we're gonna just kick right into it. Uh, hello, friends. This is Sniz, and that is the second introduction. Let's go at this. Continuing. Uh, so, in the last episode, I think we finished grinding out the big spider familiar. In this clip, we are getting the Will of the Alliance skill. It unlocks around level 75 as a tutorial, as like a little quest in the light bulb. Basically, it's the predecessor to being able to do the blockbuster series for Maple, Hero Maple Heroes, which unlocks Lotus and Damien as bosses. Uh, we'll get to that later, much, much later, but for now, the gist of it is is you do these pre-quests and you get a skill that gives you some all stats and like five weapon attack and magic attack. So it is a damage boost uh, for like maybe five minutes of your time. So yeah, after that, I was around like 88 or some something. So I just decided to go to Sand Rats and uh, whatever these dwarf things are called. I guess they're sand dwarfs. Oh yeah, that is what they're called. Either way, uh, we stayed here till around level 100, in which we'll get to the fourth job advancement, and I'll see you then. So actually, I'm going to take a quick pause right here to go over something called surprise missions. I don't know if what I've covered, so I need to start documenting the things I go over, so I will include a link to, in the description to topics that I have covered and probably date them by what episode they were in so I can easily look back and complete them. Uh, so what I did, what, what happens is you'll occasionally get these things called surprise missions. You can normally get three daily, but when there's events going on, sometimes they'll allow you to have up to six. Basic gist of it is it's going to ask you to do some short little mini quest or mission and if you complete it you get rewarded with uh, some random item a certain amount of random items and xp and it tends to be a pretty big boost of xp so uh it's worth doing if you don't have to go super out of your way to do them and also since there's the haste event going on right now you're required to complete at least three of them daily to get the box unlocked for that so it's it's really never out of your best interest to not do it it's it's always within your best interest to go for it if you can it's just an increase of xp and some items uh other than that i think after i almost immediately after i completed the surprise mission because I, it auto completed because i had already had a combo kill i went and got an mvp buff which i'll probably just fast forward through because it's me just lagging because i have to load so many people in and uh as explained before mvp buff is an atmospheric buff that gives you 1.5 times exp simple as that okay we're back again before i get to the fourth job advancement for like the second or third time now uh either way i did explain elite bosses before, but I want to go over them again because I did not go over the bonus stage. Um, excuse me. Uh, apparently, well, not apparently. There's three types of bonus stages. Two are very similar, while the one is like an outlier. Uh, bonus stages just give you rewards. Basically, that's all you really need to know. Uh, they after you complete, after you fight the elite boss and. Do know that if you do kill the elite boss before you kill the elite mobs, the elite mobs will despawn, uh, as an extra note. But when you kill the elite boss, if it's within your level range, the boss, it'll drop two rare reward boxes, uh, which have random goodies inside of it, uh, such as cubes, uh, potential stamps, and sometimes even pot scrolls. Either way, um, after the elite boss is fought, a bonus stage will start. You can either have, th you can have one of three bonus stages. Two of them just involve items raining down from the sky in which you just pick up the items as in you just need to be near them when they go over your character's body and you will pick them up. Um, for the third type, uh, it'll involve what I got here where they'll spawn chests and you have to regularly attack these chests to get them to drop loot and then you have to manually pick them up your pet cannot pick them up so it's very obnoxious is basically all this is though i would just 
easily say of the three bonus stages, this is the worst one you could get. So, uh, pray you get the item rain. Um, yeah, other than that, we'll finally get the fourth job. So, we have finally reached level 100. Uh, level 100 involves you getting your... Actually, yeah, now it's your second to last job advancement since fifth job is a thing now. Um, either way, uh, for Cygnus Knights, it involves you just kind of going to Aqua Road and doing some something for them, and you get your job advancement by fighting uh, the evil Cygnus, or the Cygnus boss. Uh, and then you get your job advancement. The perk of playing Cygnus Knights that is, as far as I'm aware, only for Cygnus Knights is that you do not have to pay for mastery books as a Cygnus Knight, uh, which are something we'll get into later on when I actually have to play a class that involves them. And as noted before, I don't know if I'm going to even like record those because I probably won't be going over anything interesting in them. Either way, uh, we get teleported to this uh, instance map. You kill the boss, and then you get your job advancement. Hooray. Uh, you unlock your last big set of skills, I guess I could say, because fifth job involves not that many, or it involves two custom skills, and then a bunch of generics. Either way, we'll get to fifth job when we get to level 200. Uh, we completed the job advancement, unlocked our skills, immediately went for the t new mobbing attack skills, which you're gonna just have to get used to seeing as fourth job tends to be your upgraded skills. Either way, I, uh, oh, also, as soon as you hit 100, uh, for Cygnus Knights and every class except Explorers, you get your level 100 emblem just from one year quest, right? And the perks of this is that you can not have to go through the quest line that Explorers have to do. The emblem is, the level 100 emblem is the best in slot emblem to my knowledge, unless there's an event one, but f as of like anything you can get at all times of the day, it is definitely by far the best one. Like, either way, it's worth, it's, uh, it's a part of the three items that can get attack percent on it, so it's always worth cubing for that. And since I get a bunch of occult cubes from the haste event, I mean, I just regular potentialed it for rare from the TOTS know-how, and then I just cubed it with occult cubes, and I got something I was somewhat happy with and left it there. I don't remember what I got it to. Either way, you'll see in this video. But this is just a really notable, uh, yeah, it's a notable equip because it's gonna be our best in slot for either ever or until an event come ar comes around that uh, gives us one. Uh, I cannot say anything else. Uh, it was more than welcome. I think I finished with like 6% attack on it or some, something. Or like something of that nature. Either way, we'll probably come back to keeping it because it's, again, there's four tiers of potential and we'll go more in depth on potential when I finally start cubing session, which will most likely be on Akana. So when we get there, we'll get there. This segment was kind of rambling, but uh, just a bit is fourth job advancement, level 100, new skills, sickness knights get free mastery books, or don't have to pay for mastery books, emblem at level 100, quest line if you're an explorer. Hapish, kapash, done. I'll see you guys later. Bye, friends.